Queensland won the toss and uh, will defend the northern end of the ground. That's the scoreboard end of the ground with New South Wales fullback and captain Langlands to open the match as it goes deep to the Queensland captain, also the fullback. Ray Laird and Laird's return kick is over the halfway mark. A good bouncing kick and a beautiful kick from Laird. Takes play deep into New South Wales territory, right back to the New South Wales 25. And an excited roar from this crowd of about 25,000 here today for this match. A smaller crowd than Wednesday night when close on 40,000 attended the game. Approximately 25,000 here for this second match in the Interstate Series. And the scrum is down on the New South Wales 25 and into the scrum again. Referee for the match is Keith Holman from New South Wales. And a penalty to Queensland. And this is exactly what uh, Queensland want just at present. Ray Laird must be very happy as he grabbed that ball and was about to kick for it. You could really hear the crowd saying, no, don't kick, because on Wednesday night he had a very, very bad night. He kicked it into the winger's hands every time. But bouncing over the winger then, they've gained ground. And it's an excellent opportunity for Queensland to put these early points on the board. And Queensland have a new goal kicker today, Wayne Bennett, the Toowoomba winger. Setting it about seven or eight yards in. In fact, it's ten yards in from touch on the grandstand side of the field and uh, looking at the flags on the post the, the wind will be blowing across the line of flight certainly not the easiest kick even though it's 10 yards in from touch and just in from the 25 almost on the 25 as Wayne Bennett in the opening minute of play takes the kick and it's waved away New South Wales to bring it back to the 25 yards mark for the dropout this is exactly what Queensland can't afford. They missed too many kicks the other night. They're having trouble with these new balls. They seem a lot harder to kick, and they're not getting the amount of distance that they can with the others. And it's Langlands who drops down to the Queensland second row forward, at, um, Hughes, and Hughes is tackled by Costello. 12 yards, it was the other second row forward, Tolhurst, are both wearing tapes around their head, the Queensland second row pair, and this is Murphy, the front rower, in midfield, Midway between the 25 and the halfway in New South Wales territory with Brown, the Queensland halfback to his lock forward and then to Dittmar. Dittmar, the young lock forward who had so young prop forward who had such a great game on Wednesday night. Heavily tackled in just out from the New South Wales 25 as Brown gives it then to the other second row forward, Hughes this time. And Hughes managed to slip his pass to Murphy with Murphy the fourth tackle. Quite obviously, right from the beginning, fullback Ray Laird is up in this back line. He's either going to kick or he's going to come in as the extra man with this wind behind him. New South Wales ball as it goes to Branson. And there are two tacklers there, including the lock and the 5'8", Scanlon and Weiss, the tacklers. Before now, on to, on to uh, O'Neill, and it's a penalty to New South Wales against Queensland offside. Just outside the New South Wales 25 with Langlands kicking for touch on the grandstand side. The Frank Burke stand is packed to capacity. 10,000 people in the stand on the western side of the ground and the rest of the crowd of 25 in the outer sections and this is O'Reilly who didn't play on Wednesday night. Three yards inside Queensland territory running from dummy half goes McCarthy on the blind side. Nice tackle from O'Doherty underneath him with support from other Queensland defenders before it's sent on to Grant, the halfback, and following through Grant, pressure on the Queensland side, Weiss takes it. Weiss is a fresh player today for Queensland, one of the reserves on Wednesday night, before it's distributed back to Laird, right up behind the movement, the fullback. Kicks down to Langlands, bouncing over his head past the 25. Langlands has it covered, or appears to have it covered, only a couple of yards out from the New South Wales line. And Langlands, just short of the 25, in front of the grandstand, with New South Wales in possession before it's distributed then and, and drop, knocked down by the lock forward Sate. A knock-on has been ruled, a scrum to pack down about 18 yards out from the New South Wales line. And it's quite interesting, every time New South Wales players are getting the ball, the forwards are taking it away. The backs aren't expecting the ball at all and obviously New South Wales forwards are going to take Queensland on. Grant's ball into the scrum, it's a Queensland ball as Brown comes out on the open side. Tried to dummy his way through, but well picked up by McCarthy as a pass is sent on now with second row with Murphy, normally a second row, playing in the front row for Queensland, and he's 15 yards up the line. Murphy plays the ball back to Beecham in the dummy half position, knocked on by Brown, the Queensland halfback, a scrum.
No score in the match after five minutes of play in the first half. Just inside the New South Wales 25. Grant's ball into the scrum to Branson and then to uh, Fulton. From Orley towards Fulton. But a very good tackle as um, Harrison came racing through to uh, break up the movement. New South Wales ball, 12 yards out from the line, running from dummy half goes McCarthy. Plenty of defenders there on the on the New South Wales 25. O'Reilly running from the dummy half position sends a long pass then out wide to uh, Williamson, and Williamson's pass back inside nearly astray before it was gathered by Grant and picked up by support alongside of him was Sate, and that's the fourth tackle. And quite obviously this is New South Wales tactics to keep this ball in the forwards. That ball on the fourth tackle didn't even go back to Langlands for him to clear the ball. Queensland ball, it's a 5-8, and enter Harrison before Beecham is well and truly wrapped up by uh, Fulton racing in. Another player in there also on the outside was Brannigan coming in to hit the Queensland winger Bennett, but as now New South Wales spin it onto McCarthy, and McCarthy races up towards the halfway mark. He's looking towards his winger onto Williamson, and uh, but it's gathered again by McCarthy, and it's play on. Look for a moment as if it might be held up, but it's play on, said the referee. And it's Sait in possession, the lock for New South Wales, 12 yards in, the knock-on rule. New South Wales a little bit unhappy, but the referee had obviously said play the ball and the player had got rid of it in a pass, so it's a scrum. 12 yards inside Queensland Territory, 10 yards in from touch on the terrace side, Brown's ball in. Penalty to New South Wales. And this New South Wales side in the front row looks much more impressive today than it did on Wednesday night. Barber is out and the experienced O'Neill has come in and it looks as though Queensland is going to have a very, very hard time to get as much possession as they had the other night. Queensland halfback not retiring, the reason for the penalty and Langlands finds touch on the 25. Very close to the 25, just outside the 25 in fact, with Jeffries in headgear playing it for New South Wales to Grant, but went to, tried to go back to Grant again. Costello picks up the loose ball but the knock-on ruled. From the blind side movement, we see the lock forward Sate switching play back inside with uh, uh, Williamson, it appears to be. The Williamson winger coming in from the right side wing before it switched back now into Branson. New South Wales 5-8 in front of the goal post, 23 yards out. Plays it back to Jeffrey in the dummy half position to Grant. Grant's pass to Sate, loose on the ground. The Pute tries to pick it up from Williamson and very nearly and Pute finishes with the ball. The Queensland left winger. Pute, just outside of his own 25, plays it back to Brown and then to Murphy, who's well and true, pushes away from uh, O'Reilly's tackle. Murphy running strongly, snapped up by Beecham, and uh, Beecham knocked down. Took a lot to stop Beecham. He's 35 yards out. It's a pretty heavy work in the tackles. Referee Keith Holman calling out the New South Wales player. Uh, Brannigan, it appears to be. It was Brannigan. And a penalty to Queensland with the ambulance attendant being called on to have a look at Beecham, who uh, certainly received some treatment in a fairly heavy tackle. Quite obviously there, the player, the New South player, Wales player had come up with his hand. It wasn't a punch and it wasn't a stiff arm, but he'd obviously roughed him up quite too much, and therefore it is this penalty. New South Wales forwards are really lining themselves out wide. McCarthy and Costello are standing wide on the blind. They're even sending their half-back Grant into the dummy half position. And it's quite obvious that if the Queensland players don't watch these two big second rowers, then New South Wales is going to gain an advantage down the blind side from these two. A beach him And it's a find the ball competition almost. But it's a New South Wales ball as it comes to Branson, the 5 8 and then to uh, Fulton. Pending away from attack. And another one, Fulton. Over the 25, flying to the corner. Fulton absolutely flying and dives over and lost the ball over the line. Great a tackle. certain try led the Queensland fullback in for the tackle. Great cover defence tackle. Fulton only had about one yard to go, but in the first place it was a very, very bad defensive tackle by uh, opposite centre Beecham. He let Fulton go and Fulton used his great speed to go to that corner. But excellent work, Ray Laird. Bad luck, Bobby Fulton. And so Queensland, something of a let off, will drop out from the 25 with Laird, the skipper, putting it out on the grandstand side, and it's out on the full. So that's a mistake. 
Back to the 25, and of course the penalty to New South Wales right in front, an expensive mistake from Ray Laird. And one would doubt that a man of Ray Laird's calibre would, uh, calibre would make such a fundamental error as kicking that ball out on the fall. Obviously he didn't allow for the win which is directly behind him and took it right out. And Langlands will attempt to put the first points on the board and uh, these should be certain points because it's right in centre field. Bennett had one kick at goal and missed for Queensland. Langlands having his first attempt and there it is, it looks good, he's raised the flag. <laughs> New South Wales 2, Queensland nil. The great attacking a player he is. And it's Brown who kicks in deep into New South Wales territory, was blocked with his knees by McCarthy to make sure he didn't knock it on and then picks up steam. McCarthy a great run up towards the 25 and it's snapped up by Bennett, the Queensland right winger. And Wayne Barrett, Bennett is tackled 35 yards out to the line. Now switched on from second row Tolhurst as it comes out to Murphy, number 13, the strong front row forward, who's held up this time, 10 yards short, and being absolutely pushed back towards the halfway mark. Brown in the dummy half position, the Queensland halfback sends a long pass to Laird. Laird nicely onto Tolhurst, and Tolhurst, the second row, is 12 yards inside New South Wales territory. Third tackle indicated. Tolhurst plays it back to O'Doherty to Brown. Brown, that left-footed kicker, uh, but straight into the arms of Brannigan, the New South Wales left winger, who was wrapped up by Bennett pretty quickly, but a determined run, even though it was a short one from Brannigan. And New South Wales will play the ball back now. This is O'Reilly. 12 yards short of halfway on the grandstand side. Jeffrey in the dummy half position for New South Wales. It comes on then to O'Neill. His, his pass uh, further out to Branson. Branson slipping it back in then to support. And uh, it's uh, Grant, the halfback, in possession, 10 yards short of the halfway mark. Now the uh, it's a penalty to New South Wales. Offside Queensland. Queensland players well up within their five yards. Uh, referee Holman was even standing at the five yard mark, but Queensland players were well forward of him and of course a penalty must result. This lets New South Wales off the hook just at present. They're still using their fours, they haven't attempted to use their back line and it's going to be interesting to see when they switch their tactics. Langlands kicks the touch on the grandstand side and it doesn't tra travel quite the ten yards, it's about uh, five or six yards. It didn't gain very much ground with the penalty, but uh, the second kick now to Grant, Grant then to Branson, Branson holding it up, it comes back to Costello, the second row forward, and Costello in centre field will play it back now to Grant, on to O'Neill, and now switching play now to Fulton, look at Fulton flashing through, over the 25, pass back inside, goes astray, and the touch judge's flag is up. Excellent run by Bobby Fulton, but then a most stupid pass when he tried to throw it back in, a desperation pass, and once again he must, these players must learn that when they make a beautiful break only on the second tackle, they must go down and ready for the third and fourth tackle. Brown's ball into the scrum. New South Wales ball, 15 yards out from the Queensland line, has switched on to Branson. Branson sending his pass, his Langlands up into the movement on the 25, held up by Beecham and another Queensland player was Scanlon, the 5'8". Now on the 25, on to O'Reilly, O'Reilly switching play to Jeffrey. Jeffrey's pass to Williamson on the right wing. Williamson uh, broke away from several tackles, a very strong line of Williamson, the former Queenslander from, from the north, as it's played back now to Grant, a long lofted pass to Fulton out wide. Fulton steps and beats one player and another one. He seems to be able to get away with it all the time. Onto the half back to Branson. Branson veering out towards the Brannigan's wing, but uh, only 10 yards out from the line, and that's the fourth tackle. Queensland's defence must hold out just at present. New South Wales looking much the stronger team the way they're throwing the ball around and making these initial breaks. Scrum save for New South Wales by 6-2. to two. And it's a penalty to New South Wales. Not retiring. It's going to be interesting to see just how long Queensland leaves their hooker O'Doherty on. O'Doherty was the second string hooker and virtually was promised that each Queenslander would get a run in this game. But Fitzsimmons out hooked Jeffries in the night game by the tune of 35 to 15. And Langlands is going to take the kick for the line. About eight yards out from the Queensland line. The second kick to come. McCarthy is in the has the ball. McCarthy to distribute to O'Reilly's out on the right flank. It's probably a move on here as a McCarthy goes on his own and tries to drive through and very strong Bob McCarthy but he's held up. He's only two yards out from the line. McCarthy plays it back to O'Neill and then on to Grant who props and tries to weave through himself. Eight yards from the line near the Queensland post as it played back now as McCarthy tries to barge his way through. 
uh, sight rather, the lock and sight in front of the post, a couple of yards out, looked like McCarthy for a moment, before O'Neill distributes the ball, that long floated pass to Branson over his head, McCarthy picks it up, it's picked up by Fulton off the ground, Fulton switching back in play to Langlands, Langlands dives over and Graham Langlands has scored the first try of the match. Quite an excellent try on New South Wales, but I've no doubt the crowd will demonstrate about it. It's a little bit lucky, the ball bounced firstly forward, it must have come off a Queensland player's hand for Fulton to pick it up, send the ball back in through his support for them to score. And I have no doubt that we're going to see an unfortunate spectacle as Langlands comes in to kick this ball of the crowd booing him, not because it's New South Wales, not because it's Langlands, but because they disagree with the way that that try was given. But I think it was everything was fair, it must have come off a new Queensland player's hands to bounce forward. And Langlands coming in for the kick, and there it goes, but it's well away to the right of the post. A disputed try, but uh, you saw it twice. Back to the halfway mark, with uh, John Brown pointed out towards the grandstand side of the field. New South Wales leading 5-0. Brown's kick down to the 25, where it's knocked down by McCarthy, who dives on the ball now, sends his pass away, but the referee indicating that the ball was knocked on by McCarthy and orders a scrum. Much different to the first one. In the first place, McCarthy had put his knees down to the first one and it bounced forward, but at that time it definitely came off the hand. Queensland ball to Scanlon. Scanlon to Bennett coming in from the blindside wing and the big 14 stone to... Uh, Toowoomba policeman is down on the New South Wales 25. It switched on to Brown. Brown to Beecham in the bandage head and across to Harrison. Harrison to Pitt. Overran the pass with Harrison going back to pick up the ball. And the big centre, 14 stone 7, Wayne Harrison will play it back 35 yards out from the New South Wales line to Brown to Laird. Couldn't handle that one. Gathers it this time. Laird breaking out of a tackle. Jeffrey underneath him. Got his pass away. Well to Bennett. And the very fast wing of Bennett breaks away almost from uh, Brannigan but knocked him off balance into touch. The touch judge's flag is up, 35 yards out from the New South Wales line. Excellent work there by Ray Led to come into the back line, break through a couple of tackles and then send that perfect pass out to Bennett. He's coming in every chance he can, Ray Led. It's Grant's ball into the scrum. In again, says referee Holman. Keith Holman hasn't been seen in Queensland for quite a long time as it comes to Scanlon for Queensland. Beats one tackle up to the 25. But a lot of defenders there. Queensland play it back, running through at his uh, top comes uh, second row or Dittmar, the front row forward, on the 25. Switched across then to Brown. Brown then onto the centres to Harrison by the hands of Beecham. And Harrison 10 yards in from touch on the terrace side. Played back to Brown, the halfback. Now to Murphy. Murphy, fend away from one New South Wales player who's left on the ground injured. Murphy uh, held up and the referee indicating the fourth tackle and the New South Wales player who was injured as he attempted to tackle Murphy was O'Neill. It appeared to be, no, it was Costello. On the ground now we can see his number clearly. Number 10, Costello, who uh, suffered an injury as he tried to tackle the Queensland front row forward, Jim Murphy. Queensland players just at present lacking that little bit of penetration which they need to break this very, very strong defence from New South Wales. They must run onto the ball, run onto the ball strongly, and at present we're not seeing centres Beecham and Harrison really at their strength. They're too tentative and they're not going to break a New South Wales defence like this. 20 minutes of play in the first half. New South Wales leading five points to nil. The try, only try of the match was scored by Graham Langlands in the 17th minute. The scrums favour New South Wales by six to four. And the penalties favour New South Wales by 5-2, to two. in fact 6-2 to two now. Obviously the Queensland players, they are moving forward from the mark that referee Keith Holman had told them and a penalty must result. Langlands finds touch 8 yards short of the halfway mark. Very noisy crowd of about 25,000 here for this return interstate match as it comes on to Grant and Grant gives it then to O'Reilly and close to the halfway mark he's upended O'Reilly, completely upended which seemed to delight the, uh, the crowd here as it switched across then to uh, McCarthy. McCarthy looking to get the pass back inside. He's nearly into touch, eight yards inside Queensland Territory before Sait gives it away then to O'Neill, that long pass to Fulton, who bounces out of a tackle and uh, eventually trying to get away from another one back to Sait. How do you put Fulton to the ground? It seems to be almost impossible to pull him to ground as New South Wales play the ball back now and it's kicked downfield by Branson and uh, it seems to be out on the full. Yes, out on the full. 
Unlucky for Branston, the ball just went out, it must have only went out by one foot. An interesting difference in the referees here, we see referee Keith Holman not penalising when a player is lifted up high and then dumped into the ground. Queensland referees is virtually as soon as a man's feet are lifted off and then put down heavily, it's a penalty against. Scrum just inside New South Wales Territory. Grant gives it to Branson, going out on the grandstand side, out towards Fulton. Branson over the halfway mark. Just inside Queensland Territory before it comes to O'Reilly, a long pass out wide to Kamali in the centres and Kamali is eight yards inside Queensland Territory. Not far from centre field, Jeffrey the hooker dummy half gives it to O'Neill, O'Neill out wide to the other big prop O'Reilly and it's O'Reilly caught by the jersey but he takes a lot to stop, Queenslanders trying to pull him into touch, Harrison was there as well but New South Wales play it back this time to Grant to Branson, Branson then to Kamali, here's Fulton and Fulton races up to the 25, look at Fulton go, flies for the corner and a great dashing run, what a great player he is and Fulton has scored in the corner the second try of the match. Great play by Fulton, he's very, very fast and once he gets that break, but let's not give every, every bit of credit to Fulton, let's give it to these inside New South Wales backs, they're throwing the ball and the difference is that they're throwing wide passes, getting out to Fulton quickly and he can take advantage of every quickness that they can give him. Here's Bobby Fulton's try again on action replay was there as well but New South Wales play it back this time to Grant to Branson Branson then to Kamali here's Fulton and Fulton races up to the 25 look at Fulton go flies for the corner and a great dashing run what a great player he is and Fulton has scored in the corner the second try of the match New South Wales 8 Queensland nil. Langlands a difficult conversion from uh, close to the touchline in front of the grandstand on the 25 as Graham Langlands comes in slightly better kick <coughs> not there Kicks out to the grandstand side of the field where it's again McCarthy has trouble handling it. Dives on it, but uh, it's play on, not knock on, said the referee. Uh, the crowd didn't agree with that one. It certainly looked like a knock on, didn't it? And uh, But uh, New South Wales will play it back on the 25. Word comes back to Jeffries. Jeffries then to, uh, this is O'Reilly in front, number 13. He slipped it away to support. It appeared to be uh, Grant. It was Grant, the halfback, who finally plays the ball back. McCarthy throws that long pass. It's Fulton gathering it there, and Fulton smothered immediately by the two Queensland props, Dittmar and Murphy and uh, I've had to knock the ball on. And the crowd showing its pleasure at that decision at the knock-on. The first one of McCarthy's, the ball definitely went backwards at the beginning of the knock-on, but then as the ball came forward, he went to it a second time, but it touched his fingertips and then went forward, and that's what the crowd yelled about. And now Grant has the ball for New South Wales. It comes to Branson, the 5'8", over the 25, caught by Brown, the Queensland halfback. And it's Branson who'll play it back on the, on the halfway mark. It's O'Neill switching play back inside then to Hooker Jeffrey. Jeffrey, conspicuous in this white headgear, plays it back for New South Wales. Grant that long pass out wide to McCarthy and tossed it, floated out to Fulton and to Kamali. Picked up by Bennett, the Queensland right winger, and immediately Branson pushes, Brannigan pushes him into touch. New South Wales using this long pass. When they see a man coming up quickly in defence, they cut out their support who was with them, send a long pass over the top and cut out Queensland's defence. Grant's ball for New South Wales, on it comes, standing out of the scrum then was uh, Sait, <coughs> and Sait midway between the 25 and the halfway mark, here's O'Neill, flipping it away back to Costello, up alongside of him, away to O'Reilly, O'Reilly's over the halfway mark, the big prop forward, trying to get it back inside, does so, and for a New South Wales player knocked over without the ball, and the Queensland player called out is... Um, O'Doherty, I think it was called out. I'm not certain. It looked to be O'Doherty, but a New South Wales player and Laird was there as well. I think Laird might be the one who's virtually warned by Holman. I think he might be going to warn him. It's quite interesting whether Holman's even sent him off. Uh, Fulton was the injured player, knocked down uh, without the ball. Yes, I think Laird sent off. Yes, Laird has been sent off the field. A head-high tackle, apparently ruled by referee Keith Holman. The crowd couldn't see that very well. I certainly didn't see it as I was watching the ball. What actually, but, uh, happened, uh, actually happened was as O'Reilly went through, he passed the ball back and the crowd looked to where the ball was lying on the, uh, on the ground. But Laird virtually tackled O'Reilly as he hadn't had the ball or as he got rid of the ball. And Laird's definitely off. Unfortunate for Queensland, but he's off. And he, in, it was uh, the other New South Wales centre. Uh, in fact, it appeared to be Kamali, who's very groggy as he goes back to his position. Yes, actually, Kamali had run forward, uh, run through and supported O'Reilly. The other centre, Fulton, was there at the same time. It happened so quickly. Uh, but Queensland now, 
the crowd here in a not very happy mood. I don't think very many of the crowd could have possibly seen that if they were like us watching the, the ball and it happened some four or five yards away from the actual, uh, or uh, three yards anyway, away from the ball itself. A penalty to New South Wales, Langlands to kick for goal, 35 yards out and almost in front. New South Wales leading 8-0. Play has been in progress for 26 minutes in the first half. Quite an unfortunate incident at this stage. Number one, Queensland certainly can't afford to be with uh, can't afford to be with a player like uh, of Ray Laird standard. Number two, the uh, spectators are at Holman already. A couple of controversial decisions, and they're going to be at him all the time from now on. And there it goes, waved away. Bennett has dropped back to fullback. Bennett is no stranger to the fullback position for Queensland as he played in the fullback position for Toowoomba at one stage and in fact he's a very experienced fullback and now here it is Fulton bringing it up this time Kamali has left the field and Harris is, uh, uh, has come onto the field replacing him New South Wales in possession over the top came Murphy there's a lot of fire in this game now as uh, Jeffrey tries to come away with it and Murphy over the top underneath was Dittmar 10 yards inside New South Wales territory listen to the crowd roar as McCarthy is down just short of the halfway mark. The crowd roaring Queensland on with their 12 players onto Branson. Branson to Fulton, Fulton over the halfway mark. Back inside now McCarthy and McCarthy offside McCarthy. A penalty to Queensland. And the crowd roar their approval and that was a controversial decision and there's a fight on just at present. The crowd are roaring for McCarthy to be sent off, which seems a bit silly. Harris is on the field, replacing Kamali. Mark Harris. Obviously, Russell Hughes, the Valley's forward from Brisbane, was in that actual incident. That's a penalty to Queensland. The actual penalty not resulting from the fight, but from the forward pass, which went to the New South Wales player. Now... Bennett finds touch, the new fullback replacing Laird. Wayne Barrett, Bennett, plenty of experience in the fullback position as it comes on to Brown and down the middle comes Murphy, lost the ball. New South Wales try to pick it up. O'Neill tries to gather it and Murphy has been injured in the tackle. Another a New South Wales player on the ground also, getting to his feet slowly, appears to be uh, Sate, but uh, it was Sate. Murphy on his feet again, the scrum outside the New South Wales 25. Grant's ball into the scrum, out to the blind side, as goes to Langlands, up into the movement, the fullback, and Langlands is caught by, Cost by Tolhurst. Ten yards short of the halfway mark to Costello, and then to O'Reilly, out wide then to O'Neill, pushes the ball out wide, out towards it, snapped up then, very nearly away, Pute, and Pute is grabbed by Brannigan, and Brannigan, who switched right across, wrestles him to ground in a pretty high tackle around the head, but uh, Pute will play it back onto O'Doherty, and look at that from O'Neill! The right arm came straight up, and I'm surprised that referee Holman didn't say anything about that. That's a bad that decision. Was very that was very bad. Definitely On up. to Scanlon. Scanlon now back inside. If it's good for one, good for the other, and that was a very bad, glaring instance, as I saw it anyway, but perhaps the referee didn't. I don't know how he'd miss it. On it comes to O'Doherty. On to Brown. Brown knocked over after he kicked the ball. Bowled over by McCarthy as the ball comes down to the New South Wales line. Williamson gathers the ball, and Brown back on the 25. It's a penalty to Queensland. Referee Holman saying, yes, that's definitely enough. Brown was definitely knocked. There was a shoulder came in from that player, and therefore it's a penalty. But it's obviously going to be on for young and old from now on. Murphy, the Queensland front row, has been flattened a couple of times, and if anyone gets rolled up when something goes wrong, it's Murphy. Let's hope that referee Holman can really control it at this stage. And now Bennett finds touch, only a yard out from the line. Pute, the left winger, to... Uh Well, Brown's going to take the, the, the tap kick, telling his players to stand in a line before running round behind. And it's a penalty to New South Wales. You, you, it's a Shepherd ruled against Brown, I think. Well, that's definitely a, a decision of a referee, which is different from Queensland. This is definitely Bobby Back's coaching methods. He stands four players in a line. The ruling he works on is that if these players don't move, then they can't actually Shepherd. It's only a moving player that can Shepherd. But referee Holman says different. He says it's definitely a Shepherd. And New South Wales find touch on the on the on the 25. Jeffrey uh, plays it back now to uh, O'Reilly, and O'Reilly in a strong run, but uh, underneath him was Tolhurst. 
on the 25, switched out wide to Grant. Grant make it safe, rather safe, up towards the halfway mark, switching play back inside to Williamson. And Williamson in a good run from New South Wales. <coughs> Ten yards inside Queensland Territory. Grant gives it on to Langlands into the movement to O'Reilly. Switching play back then, it's dropped by Branson and uh, dived on by another New South Wales player. It was uh, Tony Branson coming back on the halfway mark. New South Wales, halfback Grant, a long pass then out to Fulton. Fulton looks towards his winger Harris, but the ball is knocked down and gathered by Tolhurst. There's a wrestle on the ground between Beecham and other player in there was uh, Hughes with Fulton, but now it's play on in centre field and uh, New South Wales have knocked the ball on. Brannigan. Well, the fourth tackle, rather, has been ruled. A scrum to pack down just inside New South Wales territory. New South Wales leading eight points to nil, 31 minutes of play in the first half. Well, Brown gives it to Scanlon, a 5'8", looking to get it back inside. 14 yards inside New South Wales territory. Brown holding it up for a moment before giving it to O'Doherty. And the Queensland hooker tries to slide underneath the tackle. O'Reilly got to him quickly. On the 25, on to... Uh, Brown out wide then to Beecham, Beecham to Harrison, put it on the ground and it's dived on by New South Wales, the knock-on rule. Yes, as that player was coming through, the ball definitely touched his hand and therefore went forward, but Queensland did have the advantage, they should have got hold of the ball as quickly as it was on the ground. Just outside the New South Wales 25. <laughs> Penalty to Queensland, not in straight. Yes, and I think referee Holman also indicating that the front row was definitely not packed down straight. The front rows from both sides must go into the, uh, the scrum straight. They can switch when they're in there. This is an important kick for Queensland if Bennett can put this over. It'll be interesting to see if he misses it. Will Ray Laird come back into the kicking lineup? Well, Ray Laird, of course, Sorry. has left. Uh, Kev? It's easy makes, to a little bit of, makes a little bit of difference when he's off the field, I suppose. Makes a slight difference. Bennett, just outside the 25, about... Uh, 28 yards out, and not so very far from centre field, about 15 yards from centre field. As Bennett attempts to put the first points on the board for Queensland, he missed his earlier kick, and there it is. It looks to be pretty good, just away to the right, and the flags are down. Queensland seem destined never to kick a goal. New South Wales back to the 25. Fine sunny conditions in Brisbane. A temperature of about 70 degrees, maximum of 72 forecast for today. It's a beautiful day as Brown takes it 10 yards inside his own territory before giving it to Weiss. <coughs> Weiss has actually moved out onto the wing position with Bennett in the fullback position and now Dittmar, this very promising youngster, 19 years of age, hard straight runner who plays it back to O'Doherty, onto Brown, Brown to Scanlon, Scanlon to Beecham in the centres and Beecham out towards Weiss. Tried to pull away from a tackle, eventually got away onto Weiss, and Cole Weiss, the lock forward normally, beats the tackle into O'Dowdy. O'Dowdy sends his pass to Brown, Brown to uh, Bennett, and Bennett held, well and truly held up by Brannigan. Brannigan took him ball and all and wrapped him up nicely and put him to ground 35 yards out from the New South Wales line. And there again we see that spear tackle which is certainly banned as far as Queensland players are concerned and Queensland referees. A player lifting a man up and dumping him hard into the ground. New South Wales ball, Branson, Fulton, and Fulton steps back inside from Tolhurst, beats another tackle, but now Beecham, who was there originally, comes in for the tackle, short of the halfway mark. Fulton plays it back onto O'Reilly. O'Reilly's got McCarthy outside of him. McCarthy pushing away from a tackle, trying to get it to Williamson. Switcher back inside then to Brannigan. And Brannigan makes a run. 12 yards inside before slipping over. Williamson in the dummy half position for New South Wales. On it comes to O'Reilly before giving it to Sait. Sait allowed to pass it back to Jeffrey, standing in the tackle. And Jeffrey, the uh, country hooker from uh, Glen Innes, I believe, is tackled just short of the Queensland 25. On now to uh, O'Neill, a long lofted part to Fulton, who was wrapped up by Johnny Brown racing through the Queensland World Cup halfback. And now it's given back to O'Neill, who they thought had been effectively tackled to Costello. Uh, but no referees whistle, so naturally they play on and keep going in the fourth tackle. And what a great player this McCarthy is when he starts to run with the ball. If he doesn't make ground, he, if he doesn't break through the opposition and outstrip them with his speed, he gets this left fend going, stands up, gives the ball out, and, and of course the play continues. It's on the New South Wales, Queensland 25 with Grant making a break on his own. He's only 15 yards out. And the New South Wales half to play it back. New South Wales has got two tries to uh, nil. Onto O'Neill, switching play back to, uh, or trying to get, yes, he got the pass back into support. 
and it's uh, McCarthy who played the ball back now as a field goal attempt comes from New South Wales with uh, Costello in defence will be taking the kick but it's well away to the right of the post and uh, Queensland will bring it back to the 25 yards mark for the dropout. What a difference this more experienced front row uh, lineup of New South Wales is making. Scrums are favouring New South Wales by 11 to 5 in comparison to Wednesday night's debacle when Queensland won by 35 to 15 in the but scrum. Brown who takes the uh, tap and gives it to Murphy. <coughs> Murphy out wide to Beecham. Jumps over a player on the ground and he's smothered eventually. Brannigan, very vigorous tackle, over the top for the second tackle with Jeffrey underneath for the first one. Onto Brown. Brown props and over the halfway mark goes Johnny Brown. But uh, he was well held up by uh, Brannigan in there again who does a terrific amount of tackling Brannigan. Uh, now it's on to Pute and Pute kicks and follows through the uh, Queensland left winger. The bounce favours Pute, takes it off Langlands and Langlands just seemed to have it. Pute took it from Langlands on the New South Wales 25, will play it back. Harrison the dummy half position, Morris knocked down then by Hughes and the new Queensland 18 year old second row Hughes has knocked it on. It's a penalty to Queensland. Yes, definitely the New South Wales players were up too far and referee Holman has penalised them for this. Now Bennett may take another kick at goal. He has had uh, two kicks already without success. <coughs> Ten yards in from touch on the grandstand side of the field and just outside the 25. One thing these New South Wales players are teaching Queensland and that is when a player is tackled they virtually lie on him, they hold him, they do everything waiting for their own players to get back in a correct defensive position. Now Bennett kicking this one from the grandstand side of the field 10 yards in, 26 yards out from the line and his third attempt, is it there? Waved away again. Seems impossible for Queensland to kick a goal. They had six attempts on Wednesday night, missed all six and uh, three attempts here today without success. Only about two and a half minutes remaining before half time. New South Wales lead by eight points to nil, having scored two tries to nil, and the drop out down to the halfway mark, where it's taken by Brown, who sends it on to Scanlon. Plenty of defenders there for Scanlon. In fact, there were four New South Wales jerseys there. O'Doherty runs from the dummy half position, which he likes to do, <laughs> and very nearly through. He gains a lot of ground, O'Doherty, in some of these runs in the dummy half position, onto Brown, switching play, back onto Dittmar, and Dittmar tries to get it away to support alongside of him. Third tackle, says referee Keith Holman. Brown, switching play to Scanlon. Scanlon, on then to Harrison. But uh, he's well and truly held up by Brannigan, who's playing in the centres now, with the switch around of New South Wales, following the injury to Kamali, with Harris coming on, replacing Kamali. 25 yards out from the New South Wales line. It's another New South Wales ball to uh, uh, Sate and then to Branson. The scrums favour New South Wales 12 to 5, which is a different story to the other night again onto Jeffrey. Jeffrey then to Fulton and Fulton props and beats one, no, Brannigan rather. He's got Fulton outside of him and onto Fulton this time. Over the halfway mark goes Fulton. Bennett there, but he props and comes inside Bennett and gets away. Weiss trails from behind and dives but whips the pass back into Harris and Harris races through to touchdown and a great try for New South Wales. Glorious work, Bobby Fulton. He's tried to outstrip Bennett. He probably didn't realise how fast Bennett is. Bennett had him covered. B uh, Fulton prop sent Bennett over the sideline, ran himself. When Weiss caught him up in tackle, he sent this beautiful inside pass back into Harris. And here it is again on action replay. Wales 12 to 5, which is a different story to the other night again onto Jeffrey. Jeffrey then to Fulton and Fulton props and beats one, no, to Brannigan rather. He's got Fulton outside of him and onto Fulton this time. Over the halfway mark goes Fulton. Bennett there, but he props and comes inside Bennett and gets away. Weiss trails from behind and dives but whips the pass back into Harris and Harris races through to touchdown and a great try for New South Wales. Now the halftime hooter has sounded as Brannigan having his first kick. Langlands has kicked one out of three. Handed over the kicking to Brannigan. New South Wales 11, Queensland nil, and in comes Brannigan for the kick. It's not a bad kick, it's waved away, it was fairly close. So at half time, New South Wales with three tries to nil, lead Queensland 11 points to nil. The scrums favour New South Wales by 12 to 5. The penalties favour New South Wales 8 to 6. And New South Wales lead 11 nil. No changes in the team for the second half with New South Wales leading 11-0 as it comes down to O'Neill, the front row forward, the ball's into touch. Tackled by Hughes. Scrum 
first scrum of the second half to pack down just inside New South Wales territory on the grandstand side of the field. It's uh, Grant's ball into the scrum. In again, knocked on. New South Wales scored three tries to nil in the first half a Queensland ball to Scanlon the 5-8 Branson gets to him beats Branson and away goes Scanlon 10 yards inside New South Wales territory also beats Sates tackle Brown in the dummy, uh, dummy half position now it was the centre as it comes on to Dittmar Dittmar bounced away from one tackler it was uh, Langlands who came right up there but now 12 yards inside New South Wales territory as it comes to Brown to Scanlon Scanlon then to Beecham who hasn't got the cover on his head this time to Bennett and uh, Bennett Almost into touch, 12 yards inside New South Wales Territory for Pute sends the pass back to Beecham. Beecham to Scanlon, then to Brown, Brown to Harrison and the big centre breaks through. Wayne Harrison but Branson gets to him first and 35 yards out from the New South Wales line, the fourth tackle. New South Wales leading 11-0. New South Wales ball as Langlands comes up into the movement very quickly up towards the halfway mark. Tackler was Weiss. Langlands to play it back. Switched across to Branson, then to Grant outside of him to Sate. And back to Grant, running around across on the grandstand side now, being trailed through by Beecham. And another player pushed down by Weiss who finished with the ball. I, I don't know how he got the ball. Was uh, Williamson, who was, and uh, Williamson will play it back on the halfway mark. Jeffrey in the dummy half position and sent back to O'Reilly. Knocked over by Brown racing through and O'Doherty the Queensland hooker has taken it from him. Very close to offside Brown coming through but the referee thought it was alright. Ten yards inside New South Wales territory and this time it's uh, another run that's uh, Hughes. Over the top was O'Reilly. O'Reilly tackling Hughes. O'Reilly called out this time and uh, <coughs> being warned by the referee Quite a bad incident there. That was definitely Brown a punch coming blood. down. Definitely a punch by O'Reilly. the Queensland player Hughes. Sorry, Kev, I didn't realise you were speaking with the noise of the crowd. I'm sorry. O'Reilly there, he'd virtually tackled that player. There was a definite tackle. The player couldn't get up. O'Reilly came down with his fist. I think he missed, but it was a definite punch and he's only received a penalty for it. Injured player on the ground is Jeffrey, the New South Wales hooker, ambulance attendant, uh, called on to have a look at Jeffrey before Queensland attempt the penalty kick in front. 37 yards out. Queensland have had uh, three attempts so far, all by Bennett. Unsuccessful. Added to the six unsuccessful attempts on Wednesday night. Queensland, on the law of averages, must be overdue to kick a goal from any angle or distance, I think. New South Wales has scored three tries to nil. Two minutes of play into the second half, and they lead 11 nil. Queensland going to find their second half very, very difficult. New South Wales have the wind, at the wind at the back and I'm sure Langlands is going to sit in behind this ruck, ruck and punt away and Bennett, who's acting as fullback, is going to have to be back in position all the time. What a pity it is for Queensland to see a player of Cole Weiss's standard. He's been in the Australian team and here he is running around as a winger and when we badly need him in those forwards to really get them going. Now Bennett attempting his uh, fourth kick 37 yards out, right in front. The breeze has dropped at this moment. In fact, there's hardly any movement on the flag post at all. And there it is. <laughs> this crowd of about 25,000 can't believe that at long last, Queensland have kicked a goal. We picked the law of averages. It's 11-2 in favour of New South Wales. Langlands, New South Wales defending the northern end of the ground in the second half, Brown underneath it, and uh, pass from Brown to Harrison, was it Hughes, it was Hughes up alongside of him, and uh, as a matter of fact it was a bit hard to see who it was for a moment, this time it's Murphy, and uh, Murphy tackle, O'Reilly over the top, referee would have to call uh, O'Neill out for that incident, uh, I think we might be able to see that again on action replay. Uh, pretty nasty incident.
here it is again on Action Replay. It was Hughes up alongside of him, and uh, as a matter of fact, it was a bit hard to see who it was for a moment. This time it's Murphy, and uh, Murphy tackle O'Reilly over the top. Referee would have to call uh, O'Neill out for that. In and Bennett from the penalty finds touch inside New South Wales territory. Ten yards in, Brown has the ball. Give it to O'Doherty. O'Doherty back to Brown again. It switched across to Weiss coming down the middle. And Weiss runs into Grant and another player. Grant was pushed out of the way by uh, Hughes. And now Queensland play it back to Brown. Brown to uh, Scanlon. Scanlon tries to weave his way through, but well and truly covered by uh, Branson. He ran into O'Doherty, runs from dummy half, caught from behind, but uh, pulls out of the tackle. Costello holds to uh, O'Doherty. Close to the New South Wales 25, a very determined bid now by the Queenslanders. The field goal attempt taken by Tolhurst, and uh, it goes over the dead ball line. New South Wales to bring it back to the 25. And one would wonder why Tolhurst, when the points are 11 to 2, takes a, a shot at field goal, which is only worth one point. Queensland really running onto this ball now. They're starting to look good, and let's hope they really throw it around and keep on throwing it. And now it's Sait. New South Wales lock to take the kick on the 25. He taps and takes it himself. Uh, slips underneath the tackle of uh, Dittmars, but is held up by Murphy and the hooker. Now it's switched across as it comes to O'Neill, sending his pass to uh, McCarthy and Costello, rather. And Costello, 35 yards out from the line. Grant's in the dummy half position. Out wide to Fulton. And uh, Fulton tries to get it back to Brannigan. Does so. Brannigan, uh, rather, uh, yes, it is uh, it's Harris, I should say. Both fair-headed players, and Harris is playing on the wing. He replaced Kamali in the first half. Long pass back to Langlands. Langlands kicking downfield well over the 25. Bennett racing around to cover it, and dropping back to is uh, Pute, the uh, left winger for Queensland, and it's Pute who takes it. He's well covered by Williamson, who gets to him quickly, and Williamson came in, swinging the arm. It appeared to be Williamson. O'Reilly, O'Reilly, and the touch judges in. O'Reilly, marching orders. O'Reilly's off. And there was a stiff arm that Vestley didn't connect it. Vestley went about two feet above that player's head. But let's face it, we can't take any more of this and the player has gone off. Well, Williamson was probably first to the tackle. O'Reilly was uh, there at the same time. And O'Reilly has got marching orders. So both teams back to 12 men. Queensland having lost their skipper Ray Laird very early in the first half of the match. In fact, it was well, 25 minutes. In the 25th minute of the first half, Laird was off. O'Reilly off the field and now down the middle comes Dittmar midway between the 25 and the halfway mark O'Reilly off in the sixth minute of the second half before coming to Murphy racing in goes Costello New South Wales sticking to their tackling very well the uh, other tackler was Sait the lock forward O'Doherty distributes the pass now to Scanlon Scanlon then to second row Hughes Hughes uh, is well and truly met by a very tough and tight New South Wales forward defence including O'Neill being pushed back now by uh, Tolhurst as uh, Queensland play the ball back to Brown. Brown to Murphy and Murphy has dropped the ball, dived on by Costello for New South Wales, but a knock on. New South Wales ball back to Grant, the half back from Branson. Step back to uh, Brannigan. Brannigan out wide to Harris. Harris over the 25. Harris racing for the corner. The New South Wales winger dives and he could be in. No, said the referee. Yes, he indicates the try as the corner flag was taken with him. And that's purely because Harris is big and because Harris is fast. Excellent work, Harris. He had three or four Queensland players virtually covering, but he was able to go over in the corner. The linesman said not out, and therefore Holman had, uh, referee Holman had nothing to do but firstly give it a try. And here's Mark Harris's try again on action replay. Ball back to Grant, the half back from Branson. Step back to uh, Brannigan. Brannigan out wide to Harris. Harris over the 25. Harris racing for the corner. The New South Wales winger dives and he could be in. No, said the referee. Yes, he indicates the try as the corner flag was taken with him for the kick and not a very sporting roar from the crowd as it's pulled away to the left of the posts. Some excellent work there by New South Wales. They're standing in their tackles now. Queensland aren't, uh, Queensland aren't making them effective. They're not going down. The New South Wales players are getting the ball out. And it's obvious if they feed big men like Harris, he uses his speed, he uses his weight, then New South Wales could run around and score a cricket uh, score. Now Brown placing it on the halfway mark. Johnny Brown, the only Queensland member of the last World Cup team to go to England. Taken by McCarthy. 
McCarthy out of one tackle up to the halfway mark. Just inside Queensland Territory, where it's given to Grant, the, to Sait. And Sait is met head on by Dittmar, who came racing through, pushing him back. The big number 11, the front rower, Jeffries, distributes to Grant. Brown over the top. Third tackle indicated. Eight yards inside New South Wales Territory, straight back to Langlands. Langlands kicks down, down to Bennett on the Queensland 25, and Jeffrey comes to him, gets away from him, uh, but Fulton grabs to him and puts him to ground with assistance from uh, uh, Costello. Queensland ball, second row forward, Tolhurst drives in as he half jumps into uh, O'Neill and has a punch at O'Neill on the ground. And Tolhurst And he's off. been sent off the field. Oh, that's a, that looks severe to me. Tolhurst definitely swung a punch, but it was a silly one, even if it was a retaliation punch. Don't know exactly what happened in the first place, but Tolhurst definitely swung one and he's gone. Well, perhaps we might have a look at that again uh, on action replay while Langlands takes this kick. Langlands is going to take the penalty kick. 36 yards out. And let's have a look at that last incident again on action replay. Tolhurst And he's off. been sent off the field. Oh, that's a, that looks severe to me. Tolhurst definitely swung a punch, but it was a silly one, even if it was a retaliation punch. Langlands in for the kick. What did you think of the incident? There's the kick from Langlands, and it's, it's away. It's gathered by Bennett, and Bennett runs up towards the 25. Well, you saw that incident twice. I think Tolhurst was a little bit unlucky there, although it was admittedly, it was a definite punch, but I think it might have been in retaliation to something O'Neill did. But uh, nevertheless, uh, Queensland are down to 11 players, New South Wales 12, a sensational interstate game. I can't recall seeing three players sent off the field, Laird and Tolhurst off for Queensland, as uh, Williamson comes in from the blindside wing for New South Wales to give it some support. Up alongside of him was halfback Grant, and Grant's down 15 yards from the line, with O'Neill switching play now across to Costello. Second row forward, 10 yards from the line. Queensland with 11 players against 12. The long pass out to Harris on the wing from uh, Jeffrey, and uh, the referee, it's, uh, the touch judge reports an incident to the referee, something that a uh, Queensland player did to Harris, I would think. I think it would be O'Doherty with the police. O'Doherty brought O'Doherty. his hand up. And Weiss has been called out as well. It was Weiss, apparently. The referee giving a penalty to Queensland. This crowd of 25,000 starting to, uh, for, to New South Wales, I should say. Sorry, Noel. This crowd of 25,000 really starting to uh, get angry about uh, some of these decisions. As it comes to Branson, Branson into Sait. Sait down only eight yards in the line near the post. A good tackle from Johnny Brown before Branson gives it now. That long pass for, Tot, for Costello running back to pick it up. And Costello lost it, but picked up cleanly for New South Wales by Williamson. And Williamson, 20 yards out from the line, the big winger, former Queensland player. Grant distributes a pass to McCarthy, and McCarthy looks for the gap as he shoots across to Langlands. And Langlands beats one player and another one. And Langlands in a great diving, not there, inches short of the line. Langlands looked to be over, playing it back now to Grant. Langlands playing it back onto O'Neill. O'Neill switches play to McCarthy, pushed away. Out it comes to Sait, and Sait dives to the line. That's a try to New South Wales. The fifth try to New South Wales. Good work, New South Wales. They obviously realised that the Queensland players had come in under the post. All they had to do was run the ball out, move it out to these outside men. And what a good pass by McCarthy as he threw it over the top of a Queensland player's head to hit his own player, and they've gone in for this good try. New South Wales, here it is again on action replay. Inches short of the line. Langlands looked to be over. Playing it back now to Grant. Langlands playing it back onto O'Neill. O'Neill switches play to McCarthy. Pushed away. Out it comes to Sait. And Sait dives to the line. That's a try to New South Wales. The fifth try to New South Wales. Replacement to come onto the field. A replace. New South Wales calling a replacement on for someone. Langlands kick is waved away. Sait is the injured player. Sait is about to leave the field. For some reason or other. Sait the lock forward. Another incident in this match. Why Sait is leaving we don't know. He looks to be walking freely enough as you can see. But uh, replacement coming onto the field is Campbell, who uh, played on Tuesday night, one of the reserves. I can't see his number at this moment, but it appears to be Campbell wearing number 17 jersey. And uh, Queensland in possession. Now Doherty running now as he sends a wild pass back, gathered by Costello. Costello, who is standing offside, gathered the ball and is hurled into touch. A penalty to Queensland. 
good decision by Holman and a correct one too. The Queensland player O'Doherty passed the ball back as he did to his own support. It hit a New South Wales player's hand and then it bounced right back to a support who was well offside and therefore a penalty to uh, Queensland. And Bennett finds touch uh, 15 yards out in the line. So Queensland in a scoring position. One of the few times in this match as opposed to uh, last Wednesday night's game when they bombed four or five certain tries, bad handling with the line open. And now Brown sends it on to O'Doherty. And O'Doherty runs on his own very nearly through. He's a very slippery runner, the Queensland hooker, O'Doherty. Ten yards out from the line. Brown sends it to Scanlon. Scanlon to Harrison. Harrison tries to break through, but a very nice tackle then from Brannigan. Put him to ground. Here's Murphy, the front row forward. Murphy standing in the tackle. Knocked on by Harrison as he tried to pick it up. Is it a New South Wales ball? Otherwise, it was a knock-on by Queensland. A New South Wales ball. Um, it appears to be Campbell. Yes, Campbell was there, but it's a Fulton who plays the ball back for New South Wales. On to Grant. Grant to Branson. Branson's to Br Brannigan, but a loose ball. Harrison tries to come through and tow it through, but just picked up by uh, Harris on the wing, and uh, Harris will play it back for New South Wales to Grant. A high pass back, a bad one back that goes to O'Neill and gathered, picked up by Fulton. Fulton uh, bounces away from a tackle by Queensland players. Ten yards out from his line, and Fulton held up now with Brown uh, to mark him now. Fulton's feet swinging in the breeze then as uh, it's past Costello trying to get it back infield. The fourth tackle, a scrum to pack down just inside the New South Wales 25. And let's watch the Queensland centres in this actual scrum. They'll only pack three men. Let's see if the Queensland centres line back deeply, expecting to even win it, or are they going to go up in defence even in the opposition's 25? Now it's a Queensland ball as uh, Pute, the left winger, dives on it. Pute to play it back. New South Wales leading 17-2. 18 minutes of play in the second half to Brown to Scanlon. Scanlon then to Beecham. And Beecham was well and truly held up by Fulton, but got his pass back somehow or other to Scanlon. And Scanlon runs straight into trouble as uh, he's into Campbell, the replacement. 35 yards out from the line in centre field, making it easy for the New South Wales tacklers then onto a Dittmar. And uh, this is the player that Harry Bath thinks so much of. He told me last night he'd like to have Dittmar back in, back in Sydney with him as it comes on to Brown. Brown sends the pass out to Beecham. Beecham tries to get away from uh, McCarthy, but it's a jersey sling before Queensland send the pass on to Beecham. Uh, and it's Beecham 35 yards out from the line, the fourth tackle. About 20 minutes of play remaining, 21 minutes remaining. New South Wales 17, Queensland 2. A Queensland ball to go the blind side to Scanlon, then to Pute. Pute tries to come inside of Williamson, but Williamson wraps him up. Outside the 25, Scanlon from dummy half position gives it to Brown. Brown then a long pass, picked up his toes from Murphy. Murphy onto Harrison. Harrison breaks out of a tackle, whips it across to Beecham. Beecham gives it to Weiss. Weiss sees his well and truly covered. Colossal defence from New South Wales. Almost impregnable defence as Weiss on the 25 gives it to O'Doherty, O'Doherty to Brown. Brown sends that long pass out to Pute and Pute co collared by Williamson and put to ground very quickly. Third tackle indicated on the 25, running from dummy half, goes uh, one of the Queensland players, can't see who it was, but uh, it's the fourth tackle indicated, it was Scanlon and uh, a New South Wales player injured, ambulance attendant called onto the field. The uh, player injured for New South Wales is Williamson. Short of the halfway mark, O'Doherty runs from dummy half, uh, but uh, breaks away from a tackle by McCarthy. But he's caught by Jeffrey, and uh, another player there was Campbell, and now it's Murphy. Murphy gives it then to Bennett, Bennett to Weiss, Weiss over the 25, but a lovely tackle then from Langlands. Langlands had him well covered. That's exactly where Cole we should run. Obviously, he didn't have the speed to go around Langlands. It was a good tackle by Langlands, but I doubt whether any winger would have scored that try. Good work by the Queensland players. They're starting to throw this ball around now. Obviously, they haven't got players who can stand in the way. They've got to stand wide. They've got to throw it around. New South Wales leading 17-2 with 19 minutes of play remaining. Grant's ball into the scrum, a Queensland uh, ball as it comes onto Murphy out of the scrum, and uh, Hughes rather out of the scrum, and it's Fulton's ball for New South Wales. Tackler with Scanlon, New South Wales played as Branson gives it to O'Neill, O'Neill then to racing through comes Campbell, the second row forward, and Campbell showing great speed as he waits for the support, away it comes now to racing through Williamson, and Williamson down 15 yards to the line. Williamson plays it back now, as it's whipped across to M M McCarthy, McCarthy standing there everywhere, gives it back to Grant, and Grant will race over and score New South Wales' sixth try of the match. Good work by New South Wales. They have players coming in support. They ran off each other, but good work by Williamson when he ran off Campbell, and Campbell beautifully set him up when he made that initial break. 
Here it is again on Action Replay. Campbell the second row forward and Campbell showing great speed as he waits for the, for the support. The way it comes now to racing through Williamson and Williamson down 15 yards to the line. Williamson plays it back now as it's whipped across to M M McCarthy. McCarthy standing there everywhere, gives it back to Grant and Grant will race over and score New South Wales sixth try of the match. Play over his shoulders, hit the corner pace and therefore he was out. New South Wales ball as Grant spins it across to Langlands and Langlands breaks the line and will score between the posts. The seventh try for New South Wales. Great try, Graham Langlands. And how simple can you get something? And there we see Harrison, the Queensland centre. As Langlands went to him, Langlands sent the little dummy. Uh, Harrison went to his centre and Langlands went over with the greatest of ease to score straight underneath the post. And here's Graham Langlands try again on action replay. Five yards scrum. Bad luck there for O'Neill. As he rolled over, he was virtually very, very close to that line. As he did roll over, his shoulders hit the corner pace and therefore he was out. New South Wales ball as Grant spins it across to Langlands and Langlands breaks the line and will score between the posts. The seventh try for New South Wales. Great try, Graham Langlands. New South Wales leading 25 points to two. They've scored seven tries to nil. An injured player at the moment is, uh, appears to be Brannigan. It could be Brannigan. It's hard to see who it is. He's slowly getting to his feet. It's not Brannigan. But uh, Costello, I think it is. Yes, it is Costello, the second row forward. And it's a very easy conversion for Campbell in front, 10 yards out, right in front. Seven tries to nil, New South Wales. At half time, New South Wales led by 11 points to nil, scoring three, three tries. And uh, now with the 28 minutes of play in the second half, past New South Wales have a lead of 23 points and it should soon be 25 with this conversion by Campbell. Campbell moves in for the stab kick in front and there it is. Well we've certainly had plenty of incidents in this match with players sent from the field and uh, at times some spiteful play but generally it's been uh, a fairly clean game apart from uh, th th three or four incidents. Now Brown kicks deep into New South Wales territory. O'Neill, the front row, gathers and gets away and starts running up the wing, O'Neill. Underneath comes uh, uh, Hughes, was it? Yes, it was Hughes. And uh, O'Neill seemed a little bit hurt as he uh, hurt a, a leg there for a moment. He's walking freely again now with uh, New South Wales to play it back. Campbell plays it back to Grant to Branson. Branson then out to wide to McCarthy. McCarthy's up to the halfway mark. Langland's put it down. One of the few mistakes we've seen from him. And it's Queensland in possession with Harrison, the centre, to play it back to O'Doherty. O'Doherty's pass on to Dittmar. Dittmar running out wide this time, pushing away from Fulton. But now he's caught with um, Costello, the second row of the tackler. And the referee gives Queensland a penalty. Referee Holman stating that the New South Wales players were up within their five yards. What, how lucky for Queensland there before when McCarthy broke away, Langlands was coming with him. All he had to do was actually catch the pass. He had a fullback to draw and he had Fulton outside him and that would have been a certain five points against Queensland. And there's Bennett's kick, a very good kick too. <coughs> Takes play within 12 yards of the New South Wales line. New South Wales leading 27-2. 12 minutes of play remaining. Brown <coughs> to give it to O'Doherty, back to Brown again. And now here's Hughes and Hughes nearly stepped through the tackle. He couldn't believe that he was actually just about clear and he's only a yard and a half out from the line running from dummy half O'Doherty tries to force his way over but O'Neill holds him up and now switch back onto Dittmar Dittmar then to Scanlon Scanlon to Harrison missed a high tackle then as uh, one of the players came racing through was Harrison appeared to be and now it's Beecham 10 yards out from the line Beecham's pass onto Brown Brown tries the tactical kick up over the goal line Got underneath it Grant for New South Wales who's caught then by Pute Another player was there first, but uh, Pute finishes the tackle. <coughs> New South Wales just out from the line. McCarthy pushes away from a tackle. And a good run from McCarthy up the touchline. Probson comes inside. As, uh, Williamson has actually got his pass away too. McCarthy had it originally. It's Williamson to play it back. I didn't see the pass go away. Now to Jeffrey. Jeffrey sends his pass to Costello. Out wide now to Campbell. And Langlands up into the movement. And Graham Langlands veering back in a great display of football over the halfway mark. Langlands streaking away onto Fulton. Fulton racing for the line. A great try to New South Wales coming up. Diving tackle from Cole Weesmith. And that's the eighth try to New South Wales.
Well, when Langlands went back in field, one would have thought he did exactly the wrong thing. He went back into the forward line, but with his beautiful left foot, he stepped, he, he sidestepped each way. And when he found himself in the clear, he had Fulton with him, and that's enough. Give it to Fulton, and over he goes. By 30 points to two, Brown takes the tap and gives it to Adaudi. Back to Brown again, switching play onto Murphy. Murphy looks towards uh, Hughes, but Hughes is in front of the ball now. And uh, Murphy back towards his 25. Hughes in the dummy half position. Goes on his own. Tries to fend away with that big fend of O'Neill comes to him. Costello was underneath. McCarthy uh, was over the top. Now they play it back onto Brown. Brown tries the left footed kick up into the goal. Mouth dropping go back goes Grant, who's standing in the full back position and takes it well too. Before uh, over the try line now, Grant, five yards out, caught by two players. Harrison, one of the tacklers. In fact, he was really the only tackler. O'Doherty tries to get the loose ball, and very nearly did so, and gets away with it. O'Doherty just about through, nearly crept away from the New South Wales defenders, but O'Neill and McCarthy were there to grab him at the last minute. Very few people realised he had the ball, and that long pass that comes now out wide to Beecham. Beecham then to Bennett, and Bennett tries to fly for the corner, but uh, bowled over as uh, Harris was in for the tackle. Uh, leaning on him, Harris won't uh, get off uh, the player, let him play the ball, the roar from the crowd, onto Beecham, Beecham sends it to Hughes and Hughes tries to batter his way through and gain some ground too, he's very strong, this young player, plenty of punches going on in there too, as and the player Hughes goes might be off. back. Hughes is off, and there goes the Hughes third player, off the field. and that's unfortunate, Hughes has definitely been the victim let's, down here on the right hand side. Let's see that again on action replay if we've got time. Hughes was a victim down here before and obviously as he went into that tackle he went strongly into it and here's a person running onto the field and let's see what happens. Here it is again on action replay. Going on in there too. Action and replay. Hughes might be back. off. Hughes is off. And there goes the Hughes third player. Hughes off the field. Now the police are on the field as the spectator raced onto the field and tackled one of the players while we were seeing that incident again. There's the spectator being hurried off the field by the police, raced on and tackled a New South Wales player. New South Queensland down to 10 men now as it comes under Grant. A sensational interstate game over the halfway mark. Anyone's ball, your ball, my ball, it's turned into soccer. Gathered by Scanlon and Scanlon is down, tackled by Costello. Queensland, look at the cans coming fans. onto the field. The crowd showing their displeasure now as hundreds of cans are being pelted onto the field. They're hitting ambulance attendants on the sideline. The police trying to kick them off the field in the dying stages of the match. Getting to be a very nasty demonstration from this cow to 25. Murphy, Murphy's making the break and away goes Murphy but it's knocked down as Williamson raced through. Beecham had the ball, towed through by Weiss and the referee is blowing his whistle as Weiss thought he might have scored a try. Only three minutes of play remaining. New South Wales leading by 30 points to two. A nasty demonstration. Let's hope it quietens down at the end of the match. Let's certainly hope there's no, no demonstrations as the team leaves the field. The police pretty busy. There are cans all over the field on the other side. Many unfortunate incidents. That spectator went on at Holman. He eventually tried to get to Holman, but Fulton came across and stopped him getting at him. Queensland ball as Brown runs the dummy half position. Johnny Brown steps and very nearly through. Flips the ball back, but doing no support there. And New South Wales have snapped it up. Shock tactics from the Queensland halfback who tried to score in the dying minutes as New South Wales come away with the ball. It's a second row forward Costello and Costello on the 25. Still clearing the cans from the side of the field as, uh, as the pass sent on to uh, Harris. Harris is uh, finally put to ground by Beecham and Harrison. Third tackle indicated and uh, now they send it back to O'Neill. O'Neill on to Langlands. Langlands whips the long pass over Fulton's head. Out then to Brannigan, out in the centres. Uh, Campbell rather, it looked like Brannigan. And now here comes the player. It's Fulton over the halfway mark. Tossed back inside. Langlands picked it up on the bounce. Well done. But the referee said forward pass. Yes, the ball definitely went forward. One wouldn't say the player was forward, and therefore it'll be a scrum. And look on the halfway mark, as the touch judge is on the field, play can't continue. The touch judge is holding up play until this field is cleared of beer cans and, uh, and, and other cans, soft drink cans as well. Play will be held up. The whole incident has begun with the sending off of... Uh, sending off of Hughes, as Hughes went into a tackle, his arms came up and he tried to uh, stop the New South Wales players coming on, on, them hard, on him hard and as they had the, done the previous tackle. And now the slow clap for uh, the referee, News of Queensland with Hughes, Tolhurst and Laird off the field. 
10 players, New South Wales have 12. Their player sent off the field was O'Reilly as it comes on now to Murphy and Murphy slipped it back somehow or other to Dittmar, a bad pass to Brown but gathered this time by Johnny Brown and he's up towards the halfway mark. Jeffries, the hooker, is there. Pretty nasty uh, incidents have developed towards the end of this game from the, particularly from the crowd and uh, as O'Doherty is in the dummy half position to take the pass, the tackler then was O'Neill. On it comes now to Murphy, and Murphy tries to make ground down the middle as he slips it back to Dittmar. Dittmar running strongly, or went to run strongly before giving it to Bennett. Slipped it across to Harrison, Harrison onto Weiss, and Weiss on the wing is pushed down as he runs into Campbell, pulls him to the ground. Um, Brannigan on the 25, and the fourth tackle. And as these Queensland players run with the ball, it's hard to find support. They just haven't got the players who are there, and they're starting to run as individuals now. But good work, they're keeping Cohen coming back. One minute to go. New South Wales leading Queensland by 30 points to two. In the ball goes, won by Grant for New South Wales, but referee Keith Holman from New South Wales said, we'll have it in again. Very cloudy, overcast conditions now after a very sunny afternoon. The last hour has been fairly cloudy. It's a penalty to Queensland and uh, a few hoots in the crowd for that one too. I think they'll re hoot referee Keith Holman for anything as the uh, cans are being pushed back over the fence again. And now Queensland will kick for touch with uh, Bennett finding touch a few yards out from the line, about 10 yards out, 12 yards out. Full-time hooter about to sound. The match is nearly over. And now it's given on to Brown, the halfback. Brown tries the up and under into the goal mouth. Pressure on as it drops down and very nearly through. Pitt tries to pick it up and can't do so. Finishes with the ball, Pitt. Another player has it, the referee said. It's, uh, Beecham was there, but the referee said it's all over. Full time, the uh, hooter has sounded. And is it, yes, it's full time. New South Wales have defeated Queensland by 30 points to two. Scorers for New South Wales. Langland scored two tries, Fulton two and Harris two, and one each to Sate and Grant. Langland's kicked one penalty and Campbell two conversions. For Queensland, a penalty goal kicked by Bennett.